say this month for Smart Notebook, we're looking at the gallery. And to get to the gallery, you click on the little, let me uh, get, put the auto hide on here. Click on the little picture frame here. That takes you into the gallery. And there's thousands of items in here. I find the search to be the best way to find things. So if I'm gonna try to find some dice, type in dice, and there's pictures and interactive. And of course, I'm gonna use the interactive. And there's dice that say it in French and Spanish and so forth. I'm just gonna grab a couple dice. So I'm just dragging them out there. And I'm gonna grab one that also says keyword. And that should work. So first on the dice, anytime you see, and this is true for anything in the gallery, if it has double arrows, that means edit. So you can click on this. And this dice is keyword, so you could put in uh, different topics. So maybe they're going to talk about uh, some things you've, you've, you've studied about World War II, and they have to talk with a partner, of like a think pair share. Or it could be kids' names. So maybe you're going to have a couple dice with the kids' name. You're going to draw and see whose partners are drawn, and see who does whatever the case, whatever the topic might be. Or it could be uh, something like math facts. Maybe you're going to be rolling the dice and uh, doing something with math, math facts. Or terms. Maybe you're going to have different terms in here. Or you're going to have adverbs or verbs or nouns or whatever the case. You could put any types of information in here. When you're done, you can just click on the double arrow. And now when you roll, of course, some of the sides are blank. I didn't put anything on some of the sides. And it comes out in this little arrow means you can inject it. So you could actually move it up there and keep it on the board. So students' names, um, topics they're going to talk about for a minute or whatever the case may be. So give that a try. And also down here, these double arrows, that allows you to make it larger or smaller. Uh, those little hashes down in the corner. The other dice. You could use those to with younger kids. Maybe they're going to show you six plus two, and they're going to use uh, little Legos or plastic components to show that. Or you're going to multiply, or you're going to add. Um, lots of things you could use the dice for. So uh, take a look at the dice and see what you can uh, do to help enhance your lessons. Thanks for watching.